Well, we're under the hood of a 1969 Camaro. Uh, great looking car. Yellow and black as you can see, but let's concentrate on what's underneath the hood. Does have a small block Chevy in it. It looks like a 350, but it isn't. It's a 383 stroker motor. This particular one has a set of big valve aluminum heads on it. Tarantula air gap intake manifold. Double pump Holley carburetor. Inch and three quarter ceramic coated headers. This car is making some serious, serious horsepower. Fuel pressure regulator. The heater hoses are hooked up with this particular vehicle. It does have power steering. It has power brakes dual stage master cylinder, has an auxiliary vacuum chamber also for the uh, additional vacuum required whenever you put a little bit more cam in the car it loses vacuum which helps actuate the uh, power brake system. In this case it would not work as efficiently because of the camshaft so we have an auxiliary comp cam set up over here to help uh, add to the vacuum of the uh, uh, engine for the uh, a vacuum booster for the power brake so that they work as they should. Electric fan on the back of the uh, radiator. Nice wide uh, radiator in it. Optima battery looks absolutely brand new. MSD complete ignition system including the coil on this particular vehicle. Fender wells are nice and flat black the way they should be. A large vibration damper. A big wheel on the power steering unit. Bill with the wheel on the uh, water pump, new belts, new chrome alternator with the turnbuckle uh, adjustment uh, instead of just the bolt adjust on it, a little more efficient, a little, little style setup that they have there. Says that it has a kind of a fancy set of, look like uh, etched uh, valve pan covers on it. Uh, they are a billet aluminum set of valve pan covers. Rated stainless fuel lines. Very nice engine compartment. Uh, somebody spent a lot of money, a lot of time on this engine, and it makes some serious horsepower. I drove this car. There's no question this car is making four and a half all day long. So it's a good, strong running car, nice clean engine compartment. Sounds fantastic. Let's see what's on the outside. Hey, you're at Hankster's in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we're going to present to you a 69 Camaro. I got to tell you right up front, this thing is not correct in any way. But what it does have is a lot of eyes, it has a lot of mechanical features to it. Fantastic condition. We're going to go over the car together and we're going to find out all the little issues that we can find on the car. It looks like a great car. I know how it runs. It's a fantastic running car. Z28 type clone. And that's where it differentiates from a Z28 is what's underneath this hood, especially. It's a 383 stroker motor making some serious, serious horsepower. Aluminum big valve heads, ceramic headers, cowl induction hood on it. Paint on this car is absolutely beautiful. You can see that the, uh, obviously it's yellow and black, but the black stripes are absolutely gorgeous on it. Fitment of the hood, really, really nice fitment down both sides to the fender. You can see very, very nice. Camaro designation on the front. Wow, the paint on this car is really, really nice. Really deep, smooth. The plastic on the grill is very nice. Again, Z28 designation. Makes you think it's a Z28, but it isn't. RS package. Peekaboo headlights on this particular vehicle for 69. So it does have an RS front end on it. Bumper fitment in the front is absolutely gorgeous. You could not get it to fit any nicer. You can also see that the uh, bumper, the chrome, is just exemplary on it. It's very, very nice. Nice clear lenses on the uh, parking lights in the front. Front spoiler's not broken or chipped up in any way. Front balance is really nice and clear. No dents or marks or anything or stone chips on the balance at all. So the front end of our car gives us the indication that it's an RS Z28 Camaro, yellow, black collar induction, striped hood, fantastic looking car, and there's absolutely no issues at all on the front end of this car, absolutely none. Let's see what we can find on the side. Okay, driver's side of our Z28 style Camaro, 1969. 
Nice paint on this car. I love the paint on this car. Front side marker light, very, very nice. Nice sharp tin on the uh, fenders. Torque thrust wheels, all four corners on this car. Uh, polished torque thrust. 17 inch, really gives it a nice look. Really nice look to this vehicle. Correct wiper arms, incorrect blades. They're a newer Anco type blade in it, but, but nice blade, good blade. Trim around the front windshield, which is also tinted, is very nice on the side. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. Dashboard where it comes down and makes to the uh, base of the uh, windshield is really straight, really nice. Usually you see some discoloration and maybe a little bit of rust or something here or there from condensation through the years. None, zero. Looks good. Correct mirror. In fact, we have got them on both sides. Um, window wipes, whiskers. Absolutely like brand spanking new. Little patina on the door handle itself. They're probably the original chrome handles that were on his car new. A little tiny bit, you probably wouldn't replace them. Front fender to the door, to the rocker panel, really nice. To the quarter panel, the same way. Very, very nice fitment. Obviously, it has a black vinyl top, and the top and the trim. It's really as nice as it could possibly be. There's no marks, no dents in any of the trim around the, uh, the top. The black vinyl is nice and tight, even in the uh, uh, edges of the trim here. It's as nice as you'll ever find. Trim around the uh, back window, really nice. Hatch shelf looks real nice. Um, it has the original type uh, speaker uh, grill enclosures with the perforations in it, the way it would have been in 1969. Definitely wouldn't do anything with that hat rack. It's very nice. Wow, chrome on this is nice too. And also you can see it's very linear, the uh, rocker panel molding uh, on our 69. Chrome on this is very nice. Again, a little tiny patina on the top here, chrome-wise. Nice sharp tin. I can't get my hand there because the pipe's there. But quarter panels, real nice sharp tin on them. Side marker light, nice and clean, like the front one. Nice Camaro. Nice looking, uh, nice looking 69 Camaro. But those torque thrust wheels polished really, really add to the pizzazz to this thing. You know what? It's got discs front and rear. So it's got four wheel discs on this particular car. Nice added feature. Driver side front, as nice as you'd ever want to find one. Uh, let's see what we can find on the back of this guy. Okay, back of our 69 frantic banana here. Really nice paint on this car. Absolutely as nice as you ever want to find. Fitment of the deck is very nice. You can see about an eighth of an inch the whole way around it. Uh, spoiler lines up the way it should also on the rear deck. Just absolutely sweet as can possibly be. Hey, the paint on this car is very, very, very nice. Paint around the back end. Normally this is flat black. They, they uh, chose not to paint it flat black and leave it yellow. Just a personal preference on this guy that put it together, I guess. Z28 designation on the back. Bumperettes in the uh, back here. Bottom volants, just as sweet as could possibly be. A couple chrome extensions on the pipes that would be correct for 69 coming out on the outside part of the uh, uh, car. Wow, fitment of the bumper is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Somebody spent some time putting this guy together. There's no question about it. Plastic lenses in the back, nice and clear, nice and shiny yet. It's as nice a back end as you're ever going to find. It's got the bumperettes on it, Z28 designation, great color combination. Um, just a really, really nice looking back end of this car. Everything lines up just the way it should, too. Let's see what we can find on the uh, passenger side. Okay, passenger side. Starting at the rear of our Z28 style 69 Camaro. Nice sharp tin. Marker light, real nice. Just nice. Yeah, that got there, but. 
It's either glue or bubble gum. I'm going to hope that it's glue, but whatever it is, I just took it off with my fingernails, so can't be too much. Trim around the back window. Really, really nice. Again, the uh, trim around the uh, base of the uh, vinyl top. Nice and tight in the corners. Drip rail molding. A couple little tiny marks there. Very, very tiny. I don't know what they came from, but they're there. Uh, window wipes really, really nice on this car. Again, our little Camaro slats here, same way. A little patina on this one. These are the original door handles. You know, they're 50 years old. They're allowed to have a little patina on them. I know I'm getting some myself. Door to the uh, front fender, just as really nice as could possibly be. Tinted windshield, tinted rear glass also. Um, again, the base of the windshield to the uh, dashboard is really sweet on this car. The towel area, the hood, the front fender. I love feeling this car, this paint is like silk smooth. Camaro designation, again the rocker panel molding straight, no dents, no dings or anything in it. A little lift molding on this one the same way, really, really nice. Just as nice a front end as you could possibly, possibly have. I mean, this car is a very nice straight car. I can't believe uh, the paint is like totally amazing on this thing. It's just so smooth and it just has a lot of depth to it. Anyway, it is a Z28 style, looks like a Z28, certainly acts like a Z28 on steroids, and uh, it's got four-wheel disc brakes, it's got 17-inch torque thrust polished aluminum wheels, not chrome, um, got a really nice fitment to it, very, very nice fitment, great looking car, we're going to do an interior presentation here in a minute, I did drive the car, the car rips. There's no question this car is making some serious, serious horsepower. We're going to take it out again, and Devin's going to do a uh, video presentation of us driving the car, showing what works and what doesn't work, and how the car does run a little bit, how it runs. We can't get too carried away. But nice-looking car on the outside. Let's see what's inside now. Well, we're inside our yellow and black 69Z28 uh, style uh, Camaro. Really a great looking car. Dome light works, tight as a drum headliner, original sun visors, the one that needs tightened. Um, no fading on the uh, rear view mirror, really, really nice. Back seat, front seat, door panels, back panels, all match just as nice as could possibly be. You can see all the trim, all the uh, chrome, type chrome. Uh, on the uh, vehicle is just as nice as you would ever want to have. Uh, window cranks, door handles, everything. The chrome is very, very nice. Grab handle on the front because you're going to need it in this thing. Set of custom gauges in this. I mean, speedometer and tack, oil pressure, amp, temperature. Uh, everything on this thing is uh, a fuel level. Everything is uh, Chevrolet, bow tie, insignia is on the center, white face gauges. Never saw a setup like this before, but what a great, great dynamic looking uh, set of gauges. Obviously not original, but wow, what a nice set of gauges in this vehicle. Original Camaro steering wheel and no cracks or brakes in it. How about that? Pretty good. The original headrest. These aren't redone. I think these are the original seats. I don't believe that they've been reupholstered. Console, the original 69 console. It uh, doesn't have the gauges on the center console, but we do have them all on the dash, there's no question. Uh, B&M shifter. This car is about as nice a car as you'd ever, ever want to find. Uh, original equipment seat belts in the front. I don't see them in the rear, but that doesn't mean they're not tucked behind the seat to keep it neat back there. Carpeting is nice and black and original looking in the car. All the uh, trim around the brake, gas, and... Uh, uh, emergency brake pedals are nice and bright. Interior of this car is just outstanding. It's a very, very good looking car. Dashboard has a lot of resilience to it. It's nice and fresh looking. It's a nice car inside. Uh, this thing is 
absolutely as nice on the inside as it was on the outside. We really didn't find anything to pick out out there, and I definitely can't find anything inside here to uh, get excited about uh, on a negative connotation anyway. Um, it's a nice car inside. Very, very nice. I can't wait to see underneath it, see what's underneath this thing. So we're going to go for a ride here and show you how it runs here in a minute. Let's see what we got with our little toy here. Well, we got a Mickey Mouse shifter. I never did figure these out. <laughs> Another. Okay. Uh, tack definitely working. Gas gauge working. We got a quarter of a tank. Voltmeter working. 13.7 volts. We're up to 150 degrees temperature. 50 pounds of oil pressure at idle. Speedometer, I'm sure, will be working. Let's try wipers. Wipers are functioning as they should. And turn signals. Left turn signal. There's no indicators on the dash, but there's no way of telling if they're working inside. Horn, I'm sure they are. The horn is not working. The horn does not function. in South Daytona Beach, Florida, and we're underneath our yellow and black, looks like a big bumblebee, uh, 69 Z28 style Camaro. Got a 383 stroker in it, a really nice runner vehicle, which you'll see shortly. We're going to go out and do a little demo right here, but the uh, car is a very, very nice running car, a nice solid car. Let's go over to the undercarriage and see what we can find. It's the first I've been under this vehicle, other than driving it one time, I've Never under the uh, vehicle till now. So let's go over together. <clears throat> front sway bar has polyurethane bushings on it. Disc brakes in the front. Brand new uh, uh, calipers on it. The rotors are nice and fat. Backing plates still have the uh, uh, zinc coating on them. Set of long tube headers on it. High torque starter. Steering box is brand spanking new in it, new pitman arm, new idler arm, tie rod ends are very, very nice, new shocks in the front, looks like the original springs, they don't really have any sag to them, there'd be no reason to replace them. We know the engines have been done from top to bottom, there's no question about that. Fresh motor in this car, no leaks on the engine as you can see, no leaks on the uh, bell housing area for the transmission and no leaks on the tranny itself, which happens to be a 700R4. 
This thing's a four-speed overdrive transmission. That's a big plus. Nice, nice setup under this. The subframes are uh, very, very nice on it. No one's jacked it up on the uh, side skirts or anything, so they're undisrupted in any way. There are no problems at all whatsoever with them. Uh, the linkage going to the tranny is all fresh and new. Cooling lines going forward uh, are the steel cooling lines from the factory and still just as nice and fresh as could be. Floor pans have been replaced. There are new floor pans both sides on this vehicle. So they are like new, there's no question. And they did a nice job of replacing them. Uh, they welded them to the sides of the uh, rocker panels, which are the original rocker panels, and there's no uh, uh, issues whatsoever with them. There must have been some perforations on the floor that caused the uh, individual that redid his vehicle to go ahead and uh, restore it to this degree, which is the right way to do it, not just patch something but replace it, and they did that. So the rocker panel on this side, again, it's uh, tacked with uh, the floor pans that were replacements. Uh, about a two and an eighth inch primary pipes coming off of the uh, headers, which have a three inch collector. Has an H pipe system on it. Uh, gives you a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more breathing capabilities. New uh, U joints. No uh, leaks in the uh, tail shaft area whatsoever, or from the speedometer gear. And again, nothing on the drive line. You can see there just are no leaks at this point. There's there's nothing there. Uh, floor pans again are replacements, but they're they're done right. No one skimped on it. They did it correctly. Subframes don't have any jack marks on them. The uh, rubber uh, body mounts are still nice and fresh looking on it. They appear to be original, but don't need to be replaced. I don't see where there's any issues with them. New cross member for the uh, 700R4 tranny. Looks like a chrome molly tubing, a double set of chrome molly tubings going for that. Drive shaft, like I said, has been redone. Uh, new U joint in the back, flow master mufflers that are two uh, and an eighth inch pipes transition into. We're over halfway back through the car. Let's see what's on the other half and uh, uh, see what we got. Okay, again, our uh, flow master mufflers that uh, are brand new, and you can see the entire exhaust system is that way. Uh, set of Lakewood style, I don't know if that's the actual manufacturer, but it's Lakewood style traction bars with the rubber bumpers to give you some isolation there. Staggered chalk rear end, one in the front and one in the back to help the torque bias of this uh, rear end. The gentleman that built this car, it does have a 10 inch uh, a heavy duty rear end in it and it does have an Eaton carrier and gears in it. So it, it, it's definitely a lot stronger than the uh, standard Chevy rear end. Electric fuel pump in the back to help feed this guy. The floor pans in the back are original up over the uh, uh, rear differential, the floor pan in the back looks to be original, subframes in the back are very, very straight and nice. Again, you can see that. Um, there is no parking brake with this because it has uh, discs in the rear too, and it seems like every time we get a car that has disc brakes in the rear, they haven't figured out a way to uh, actuate a uh, parking brake assembly for this. So, for that reason, I don't see a, a parking brake on this uh, set of uh, discs in the rear. Nice setup though. Multi-leaf rear suspension, uh, the way it would have come. Nice setup. Um, again, staggered shocks, brand spanking new. Original gas tank. A couple little marks in the undercoating. A little punch mark in the center that hardly amounts to anything. Drop downs in the quarters, very, very nice and solid. Just really good looking. Both sides. Pan across the back, uh, looks nice and solid. No pull marks or anything on it. All in all, a nice car. About a two. It might be two and an eighth inch going out through the uh, uh, back of this vehicle too. So we got two and an eighth in and two and an eighth out. Nice car underneath. It's not a show quality car. It's a driver quality car, but it's not priced as a show quality car either. And the big surprise is under the hood of this guy. So you got a car that looks like a Z28 and acts like a Z28 on steroids. And check this one out because you can buy it at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida.